Yep, you read the title. You seen the thumbnail. Your eyes not playing tricks on you. Taco spaghetti. Let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Guys, not many ingredients, but I absolutely love this recipe. So right here we have some ground beef. We have some diced canned tomatoes here. We have our spaghetti pasta back here. We have our cheese, some fresh garlic, some fresh cilantro, some taco seasoning, onions, and right here we're gonna use some beef broth. Now, if you don't have beef broth, you can go ahead and use water, that is fine. So, these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to get started, we're gonna crank up our cooktop, and we're gonna start off by adding a pound of ground beef, and we're gonna start breaking that apart. And once we get that broken apart, we're gonna toss in our onions and our garlic, and we're gonna cook it till it's brown. So we're gonna cook this all the way through, guys. And guys, even though I know I'm gonna use some taco seasoning, I'm still gonna dash it with a little salt, just a little bit. All right, guys, so it looks like we are there. We have it brown, so I'm gonna pause our heat and I'm going to drain our pan of the fat and oil, and then I'm gonna come right back. Okay, now that we've drained our beef, we're gonna turn our heat back on. We're gonna unpause it. We're gonna add our tomatoes, diced tomatoes, along with our taco seasoning, and our two cups of beef broth, or two cups of water, whichever one you have, just like that. We're gonna get this mixed in real quick. Next, we're gonna add our dry spaghetti. And guys, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure this is submerged in the water. If it's not submerged in the water, add you some more water or beef broth. And mine is not completely submerged. So I'm gonna add last of my beef broth. So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of water until it covers it. See, that's how you want it. You want to make sure that this is submerged in the water to make it cook, to allow it to cook rather. So now we're going to bring it to a boil. As you can see, we're at a boil. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cover that up. We're going to reduce the heat to low and we're going to let it cook for 12 to 15 minutes. All right. All right guys, so we're about 15 minutes in. Let's look at what we have. And as I mentioned, guys, you should be stirring this occasionally while it's cooking. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to leave the lid off and we're gonna cook it uncovered to allow some of the liquid to continue to evaporate. Maybe about another two to three minutes. All right, so we're about two or three minutes in. As you can see, the liquid has reduced. We're gonna put this on pause, give it a quick stir, a stir. Next, we're gonna add our cheese on top. And guys, I'm using fresh cheese. I like using fresh cheese when it comes to things like this. The packaged cheese is okay, but fresh cheese, I just like the way it melts on dishes, like on pasta dishes and um, Mexican dishes. That really calls for fresh cheese instead of the, the packaged cheese. Because it has that packaged cheese has that little film on the top of it, and it, sometimes it's harder to melt. But this actually tastes better. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let it sit there for a couple of minutes until the cheese has melted. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the top. Oh man, <laughs> Ooh -wee. take a look at that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some fresh, I have cilantro, if you have parsley, you could take parsley, you know, just to give it a little color. Guys, take a look at that right there. And there you have it, guys. Taco spaghetti. 
Yes, we're almost in Cinco de Mayo. If you're watching this video when it releases, if you see it later, it may not be Cinco de Mayo, but you still can make this delicious recipe, guys. So let's go ahead and get into quality control. Now, I'm gonna leave the measurements and ingredients in the video description below. So let's go ahead and get into quality control so we can give it a taste test. All right, let's go. So we are here for quality control. We need to test this taco spaghetti out. I put me a little bit in a bowl right here and we definitely gonna test it out. Got me some taco sauce right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go all in. Taco sauce too, yeah, I'm gonna go all in. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side cause I like to test it out without the sauce first. So I put a little bit on the side. And let's see. Let's take us a little bit of this. Oh man. Try to shop. Oh yes. Oh man, this is good. Mmm. 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 Try this again. Man, this is delicious. Wow. That's more this taco see you. So guys, if you're watching this, it's around Cinco de Mayo time, so you want to make a big pot of this for the people who coming over and celebrate Cinco de Mayo with you. So until then, this is All Wings Everything. And remember guys, I ain't no chef. I just cook a lot. That's it. And I'm out. Peace.